Spectrum experienced a mass outage for hours this afternoon, interrupting businesses and people as they went about their day. Eyewitness News Amanda Mueller was out in the community during the outages. She joins us now with some local reaction. Amanda? Well, around 2.30 this afternoon, parts of the tri-state plunged into digital darkness. Workers at Spectrum told me the outage was caused by a cut in a fiber optic wire. It terminated internet and cable service for people in areas across Indiana and Kentucky, including right here in the tri-state. I spoke with business owners and customers who talked to me about their frustrations. Thank you. We'll try to have patience. Many of us don't realize how big a role the internet and TV play in our daily lives until they're gone. Because we got no phone or nothing now. Frustration. You call the number, it's beep, 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 and you know you got a problem because everyone's calling them. And annoyance. What about the businesses that will, in fact? You right. know, so I mean, right. that's not right. And then they won't even answer the phone to tell you that there's a yeah, problem. Can... And those who can't call or couldn't get through showed up to Spectrum to find out what was going on. Yeah, I came down here because I couldn't get through to customer service. Around 4 p.m., customers flocked to Spectrum's parking lot, while others no simply tried to keep good. their businesses moving. I've been on the phone trying to find a solution, but there's no solution. Just go back and be patient. That outage did not just affect the flow of business or streaming services. It caused a headache for those of us here at Eyewitness News as well. Back here in the newsroom, producers timed newscasts by hand, anchors used paper scripts, and we had no weather graphics because most of our news programs are web-based. I called my wife first of all, and she said television was off, black, dark screen, no internet. For football fans, that's a very real problem. So the end of the outage was almost as good as a touchdown. Do you have any favorite shows or anything that you're going to miss tonight if they don't get this back up? Thursday night football. Well, that football game was saved. Customers I spoke with told me their internet returned around 5.15 this evening after a long afternoon of disconnection. Live in the newsroom, Amanda Mueller, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you.